May was a month of miracles that we declared for our church. And during that time, I was on a prayer walk and I was walking through our city and walking through downtown and declaring um, God's goodness and peace and um, presence in our city. And as I was praying, I walked past in the downtown area a familiar building and I really felt in my spirit an urgency to call and to find out who owned the place. There was no sign that it was for sale or anything like that. And so I started calling some people to figure out who owned this place and how I could get a hold of them. I got a phone number, I called and I asked the owner, are you selling your building? And she says, actually, I am meeting with a realtor tomorrow to put it on the market. I was blown away. I knew that God had put that in my heart. I didn't know what for. I didn't know how to pay for it or anything, but I immediately set up some walkthroughs. I took our board through the building, I took our um, business board, our elders, some prayer people, walked through the building. Everybody felt the same thing as they walked through. They felt that it was right. They felt the presence of God. But still came the part of, okay, how to pay for it. So I had a little conversation with God and I said, God, I feel like you put this on my heart, but I need to know to move forward with this. I need you to show me that this is of you. I need you to show up in a big way. And this was a Saturday night. Come Sunday morning, somebody walks up to me and hands me a $500,000 check to go towards a down payment for this building. Now, if that's not a sign from God, I don't know what is. And once again, I was floored by the goodness of God, and I'm so excited to see what He has in store. The vision of Hope City Church is to be in the city and for the city. Last year, with all that we went through collectively, we found new and creative ways to do just that. One of those ways was to partner with different organizations, local event venues, to film our 14 weeks of Hope City at home. For Mother's Day 2020, Pastor Gene and I were scouting locations and we came across this special place. From the moment we walked in, we felt like there was something special about this place. It was so peaceful. It was beautiful. It had views like we had hardly seen in the city of Racine. As we filmed that day and wrapped up, we literally said to each other, we would love moving forward that sometime, somehow in the future, this place would play a part of the story we're continuing to tell. So, Hope City, we are so excited to announce that we are the new owners of the Lock Near Inn, which will be known moving forward as The Anchor. So we believe that May was a month of miracles. We were fasting and we were praying for so many different things and we saw miracle after miracle happen. And we were praying and fasting for a miracle building. And we had no idea that this would be the miracle building. And we thought that it was gonna be a new church building, but little did we know, and leave it up to God to do it this way. We did get our miracle building, but it wasn't a church building. It was this building. So you might be wondering what this building is going to be used for. And we're excited because this building is going to be used for so many different things. This is going to provide jobs. This is going to fund our new future church building. This is also going to be funding uh, the ministry that we're going to be doing with foster care. Right. This is going to be doing so many incredible things. And so we're just so excited and we're so thankful for God's faithfulness 
for your faithfulness. And we could not be any more excited about what God has in store for us as a church as we take ground, as we've taken more land and more, bought more property in this city, put down even further roots to be in the city and for the city and to literally create an anchor in the city. We are anchored in hope and our hope is in Jesus. And we believe that we are going to further reach our city because we are in the city and for the city.